Hello, dear friends, nice to see you here, and we continue a series of our regular webinars devoted to channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. Let me remind you that this webinar is based on the offerings of a Veda Pulse Team Specialist, PhD Reflexologist, and a specialist of traditional Chinese medicine, Sergei Kasintsev, who is one of the authors of Veda Pulse Acupuncture Extension and one of the experts of Veda Pulse Team support. So, Sergei Kasintsev will be glad to answer any of your questions. Feel free to send these questions during our webinar or afterwards using email. Uh, that will be webinar number nine, and my name is Anastasia. I'll be here today with you, and I'll voice these ideas. I hope you will like this webinar devoted to the pericardium channel. First of all, let me check uh, sound. Please let me know in chat uh, if you can hear me quite nice, quite well. So, we could continue. Okay, fine. Uh, we are ready to continue, and uh, as you may know, we are working on the traditional scheme. We are going to discuss the channel itself, its main characteristics and functional use. Also, we'll analyze main points of pericardium channel, and uh, we'll finish with a practical uh, clip and practical passing of this channel. This channel is called in Chinese Shou Jue In Xin Bao Zin. And if we translate it, you can see that Shou means hand, Jue In means energetic axis, energetic level uh, to which it belongs to, Xin Bao is uh, pericardium itself in Chinese, and pericardium is a cover of heart, in other words. And Zin is a channel or meridian, and um, even from its name you can see that this channel is located on our arm, because it's uh, included in the name of this channel, show. So it belongs to our arm, and the first point of this channel uh, is located in the area of our chest. Also this channel has its inner curves, and in a curse uh, goes to our tan, it meets our tan uh, and a triple heater. Due in means uh, reduced in. So it's middle level of in among free in levels. It is connected uh, to the liver channel. And these two meridians form functional axis, uh, which works as a protector for our inner energy. It's like a guardian for our inner energy, and it helps uh, to regulate inner energy between Tai Yin and Shao Yin levels. Talking about a uh, system of five elements, we should mention that uh, pericardium channel belongs to fire element, and it's interesting that pericardium channel and triple heater, um, these are two systems that manage all the circle of uh, elements and they manage all meridians. Uh, for example, from standpoint of uh, biorhythmology, mm -hmm, sorry, from standpoint of uh, biorhythmology, uh, it is exactly uh, the channel um, that has uh, very important points that should be uh, worked out daily. And it's true for both, as for pericardium, so for triple heater channel. There are important points, and uh, they help to regulate all channels, so they can be added to prescriptions for daily usage. Pericardium channel belongs to fire, and sometimes in China they say like uh, it is like a minister. It manages all the circulation of Usin. 
and sure, pericardium channel has uh, similar functions as the fire itself has. Don't forget about time of uh, maximum activity um, because each system has its time and for pericardium channel it will be time uh, starting from 7 p.m. up to 9 p.m. So you can see that it is connected to Kapha dosha in Ayurvedic tradition and uh, as well as it's quite true for triple heater. Now we are going next to main characteristics of this channel. And talking about its functions, we should mention that the main its function is a protection of our heart. And protection of our heart is uh, a protection of our life. In traditional Chinese medicine, heart is an emperor. It uh, stands in the middle of everything. And the pericardium system, it's a guardian. It's a guardian of our heart. Uh, we can say that a heart uh, is surrounded by mm, uh, like a perimeter protection. Don't forget about location of channels. And uh, if you remember how lungs channel goes, then you can see this perimeter protection. And as well as from anatomical point of view, our heart is covered and um, sideways it meets our lungs. So you can imagine how it looks and you can see this protection of our heart. We have a cover as precardium and uh, lungs. And it is connected also to the idea of uh, construction of universe in Chinese tradition um, because all channels meridian system is connected to this idea. And uh, in China, um, pericardium, it's not only physical cover of a heart. Uh, in China, they say that it's a guardian in a higher sense. And the best protection from any external factor is love and desire to live. It's ability to be open to everything that's happening. It is connected to the idea of energy flow because energy should go mm, smoothly, it should flow and it should be able to size all spheres of our life. And in China, people say that you should be as a uh, shining rainbow, uh, where each spectrum is a particular part of our life. Uh, so it's a beautiful example of uh, the idea um, how, to, how to get well, how to um, stay healthy. They say, if you are like a light, if you are like a shining, then uh, no there is no such a negative factor, no negative arrow, as they say, that can mm, make harm to you. But if you are trying to hide, uh, if you put some lot of uh, protective barriers around you, uh, you start to be mm, to be an easy target for negative factors because. Uh, any barriers can be broken. Mm, but if you are similar to a rainbow and if you are bringing joy and happiness, uh, then uh, everything should be quite good in your life. So pericardium uh, here is a particular channel that is responsible for our happiness and uh, joy of life. and. Uh, Sure, don't forget about the meaning of lungs channel because it also has an important meaning. It also can influence all other systems in our body. 
um, biology collective points of the pericardium channel are very powerful and they have strong influence on our blood circulation and uh, this influence even bigger than influence of biological active points of the heart channel. Pericardium channel can help to regulate uh, our uh, hypertension because it works with the blood circulation and especially it's good for our arterias. So if you need to influence um, arterial network of our vessels, then it's very good for you to use biological active points of the precardium channel. It will help you also to get um, even smooth flow of C energy. You can see that this channel opens uh, into the tan and you saw previously uh, on the picture it's in a curse which meets our tan and in the third part of our webinar uh, we'll mention it again and you'll be able to see this picture again. Miro of this channel is our complexion. Uh, don't forget that uh, normal color it's a nude body color so it shouldn't be very bright it shouldn't be red or reddish because red color it's uh, a fire it's already a fire but uh, if uh, your complexion is more about some tender shining color of your skin then it's okay it's norm uh, our face shouldn't be dull it shouldn't be too pale also it should be such a healthy nude body color uh, if you are talking about important zones for the diagnosis, then we should mention our forehead zone and uh, our intercilium zone. These two zones are important if we need to make some diagnosis about uh, the pericardium channel. You can see it is connected to bitter taste and joy and fun as emotions mental manifestation of our channel is love, openness and love in a more common sense. There is interesting idea about love. Specialists of Chinese medicine say that uh, love gets birth in the pericardium then it leaves at the level of low heater and then it rises it dies in the area of uh, the upper heater so it means it dies in our head and it's not only about love between men and women. Uh, it's uh, love in more common sense. And also, it's suitable practically for any action that we can discuss at these levels. So, uh, everything has these three levels. Any emotion can go with three levels. So, First of all, it's the pericardium itself, then mm, it's middle heater, low heater as a physical component, and then it goes up to the, to the upper heater, then it means some analysis, it meets our mind, uh, and it's exactly the zone that's connected to analyzing when we start analyzing any emotion then it's quite easy uh, to lose the joy of life 
we continue and go exactly to biological active points of the pericardium channel. It's interesting because this channel is not too long. There are only nine points. And now we are going to discuss uh, eight of them. And uh, then in the end, talk a little bit about uh, point uh, number nine in this range. The last point, uh, it will be shown also, and uh, I'll bring you recommendations of Sergei Kasintsev how to use an, it in particular situation. So now you can see on your screen table with the main power points of the precardium channel. Point number nine, it is connected to wood element. And for the precardium system, it will be a tonic po point. Point number eight, it's point which we call element in the element. Point number seven, it's UI point with inherited energy. And for our today's system, it's a sedative point. Point number six, it's low point, and it is also connected to the uh, impaired channel of triple heater. Point number five is connected to metal element. Point number four uh, has an analgetic effect, so it can uh, be good in situations when we need to dispel some blockage in this uh, energy system, energy system of the precardium channel. Point number three is connected to water element, and point number one, it's a more point for this system. It's interesting, but uh, there are different points of view in different Chinese texts. Some texts uh, talking about more point uh, mention it as a point number one of the precardium channel. Uh, but others uh, gives its location as a point number 17 along the uh, anterior middle meridian. Talking about uh, position of our expert, Sergei Kasinsov, he supposes uh, that both these points work uh, at similar function, so they are functioning in a similar way. And uh, he'd like uh, us to pay a little bit more attention to it. That's why talking about point number one of the precardium channel today, we'll mention uh, this interesting moment about a different um, location of more point of this system. And sure, here is shown shoe point. It is point number 14. Um, on the channel of urinary bladder. And here we are starting exactly with location of biological active points. We are going to start with point number nine because uh, we'll start moving from our fingers tips. That's why we'd like uh, to talk about point number nine, first of all. It is located uh, at our middle finger, and in Chinese it is called John Chun. It can be translated as a medial stream. And again, there are variant readings about it. Uh, you may know that historically, uh, there used to be only 10 channels, and all of them were connected uh, to Usin system. Uh, five elements in their yin and yang positions. So five yin, five yang, 10 channels. But then two more meridians were added. They were triple heater and pericardium. But at the same time, it's interesting that uh, one of the most ancient Chinese texts in medicine 
has uh, already mentioned uh, 12 energy systems. So uh, probably, probably ancient authors had some ideas of 12 channels as we see them today. All points of biological, um, all biological active points of pericardium meridian are powerful and they are used very often. Point number nine belongs to final points. And usually such points are located at the root of nail. And uh, a lot of books, a lot of authors say in this way, to find the uh, final point, you should find the area at your nail's root. Talking about this point, uh, exactly, then you should search for it uh, on the side which is closer to your index finger. But at the same time, there are offers, and uh, it's not a rare case. A lot of offers say that this point is located uh, at the pad of your finger. And what should you do in this situation? Then you see two different descriptions where to find, where to search for this point. Uh, Sergei Kasinsev recommends uh, you to practice and just to take, for example, your laser device or another device with which you are working and influence uh, one point, then after that try to apply to another point and test a reaction of point in this way. Or if you don't use any device, just work with your hands as you usually do and press with your nail uh, at the area of one point and then at the area of the second point for several times and just uh, listen to yourself and try to see which point reacts better where the strongest reaction is um, if you feel reaction if you feel response in both points then you can use both points that's the position of uh, our offer of Veda Pulse Acupuncture Extension, Sergei Kasinsev. Uh, talking about functions of biological active point number nine of the pericardium channel, we should mention that it cools uh, heat, it brings round, can be useful in palpitations and uh, in insomnia. As you know now, main function of the pericardium is a protection of a heart. Our heart needs protection, especially then its own energy reduces. And uh, from his practice, Sergei Kasinsev says that um, when he sees a lack of energy in pericardium channel in 90% or even 95% cases it is due to lack of blood or due to congestion and where is <laughs> no excess of energy in the pericardium channel it's always about a lack of energy And if there is any disorder, disease, then it means that Shatsi, some pathogenic beginning, some pathogenic factor, uh, overcame our protection. And influenced the level of energy. The next point you can see on the second picture is point number nine. It is located uh, at our palm. And again, different authors give different uh, explanation to which bone uh, this 
particular point is connected to. So one say that uh, it is located uh, from ulnar side and uh, other offer says that it is um, located uh, on the other side of this bone. That's why it's shown in this way uh, on your screen now, in two variants. So one of us suppose it is to be from the side of the thumb and others say that it is located from the side of your little finger. Um, when you practice it's easy to find it. To find this point you should bend your palm slightly and you'll see a transverse furrow. Put your fingers at this furrow and between your index and ring fingers this point will be located. In Chinese this point is called Lao Gun. It can be translated as a palace of labor and it's quite good to massage this point periodically. To do it, uh, you should press it from both sides uh, and massage it. It belongs to five gates points. It means that you can get uh, external energy from this point. Uh, when we were discussing kidney, we mentioned uh, Yun Tsuan. It's also one of these five gates and uh, we said that you could massage it um, any day, almost every day. But be careful, you should try to feel the difference between pain and uh, sensitivity when massage it. You should find this um, middle position, you should find this balance. It shouldn't be just painful feeling, it should be something like more serious, something stronger than just sensitivity but not just uh, pain. It's how you should work with this point. And uh, it's good um, method to work uh, with all the final point in this way. It shouldn't be something similar to pain but it will be another pain not just a uh, pain that we got used to talking about our everyday life. And don't forget that all patients are different and have different uh, threshold of this uh, sensitivity to pain. But there is one interesting common moment for all patients when working with these biological active points just uh, look into uh, your patient's eyes and then press the point. And if the pupil, if the apple of an eye contracts, then it means uh, there is a pain. If when you press the pupil will expand, it means there is no pain. So it's like an advice to watch pupils of your patient and if they are widen then it means um, that a central, uh, um, a central mechanism of pain is included, is involved and uh, it will be not easy to cope with it without uh, using psychosomatic points. So to remove pain in this case you should use psychosomatic points uh, located on the pericardium channel and on the auricular zone. As you may know also points of auricular therapy 
are represented in the VEDAPALS software in specific auricular therapy module. But let's go back to the specific point uh, what we are discussing now, point number eight. Uh, it is a very good point in emotional depression. It can cool heat and it can cool our blood. It belongs to so-called uh, 13 points of uh, Sun Tzu Miao ghosts. These uh, 13 points um, are connected to different conditions than a person is under the influence of ghosts. It means some fears, probably um, some situations then it seems uh, to happen in something around the person. The person may hear something that even if there is no sound or if a person um, tend to congesture too much. Uh, we are not talking about serious pathological conditions, but if you see that your patient is a suspicious, uh, such a um, probably um, too health conscious, person, just due to his character, his type, then uh, this point will be good just to help him uh, to treat a little bit his condition and to calm his mind. The next point is point number seven, Dalin, which can be translated as a big hill. It is located uh, in the middle of a uh, radiocarpal fold. And there are different variants how to search for this point. Um, for example, you can just look at the deepest fold, at the deepest uh, crease uh, among radiocarpal folds. Just bend your hand. And you will see that uh, a small triangle will appear over this fold. Uh, you can just check it. Mm, bend and you will see this triangle. If you are working with laser device, oh, then there should be no problems. Uh, if you are working with your uh, fingers in traditional day when you should uh, try to walk quite deep because this point is located uh, in the deeper layers. Mm, don't forget about some some careful rules because if you are as a specialist uh, has some if you are a woman, for example, and has a, a very, very bright, very beautiful manicure, you shouldn't uh, be too, you shouldn't be too tough with your patients. So, if you're working with long nails, be careful, please. Don't try to press too strong. Point number seven is a specific point uh, in diseases of the heart. Also, it can normalize menstruation, and it's one of the strongest psychosomatic points. Also, it's quite good for analgetic effect. Point number six also is shown on this picture. You can see it in the red color. And as all the rest points of this channel, it is located on the inner surface of forearm, uh, between bones of forearm. Point number six is located uh, two soon over the deepest radiocarpal fold. And often people with some cardiac disorders 
or probably disorders of blood circulation uh, has uh, have such a specific uh, retraction at uh, point number six or point number seven. It show us uh, a symptom of disorder of blood circulation. Also, it can be connected directly to the work of our heart or to our vessels. It means that we should work with these uh, areas, with these channels. And we can work with these biological active points with any possible method of uh, acupuncture, of uh, reflex therapy, including massage. For example, just move a little bit uh, skin in this area and then massage it. Uh, if you work with uh, biological active point number six in this way, then it will improve bl blood circulation and will um, eliminate inner blockage. Point number six is also called Neiguan, which can be translated as inner gate. And by the way, if you meet this name Guan, for some point, then it means you meet the zone where the blockage of the energy can meet, can be. That's quite interesting for us. So Guan, it's something that's connected to a possible zone of blockage of the energy. Uh, Nei here means inner, and uh, also it is again about the movement. And if there is some blockage, then it can appear due to some inadequate uh, psycho condition. When there is uh, an imbalance in the emotional sphere, for example, too much emotions or on the contrary, if a patient just suppresses all his feelings and emotions, then there will be an imbalance. And as a result, on the physical level, you can see this uh, retraction of biological active point, number six or number seven. Point number six is a low point, and also it's a key point um, of one of the miracle meridians. It belongs to four um, the most respectful biological active points. Uh, they are um, Hegu point, that is point number four of the large intestine channel. Zusan Li point, uh, it's point number 36 of the stomach channel. Um, then Neguan, and uh, also to Qi, point number 11 of the large intestine channel. Uh, sometimes to Qi uh, can be changed uh, to other points. It, it can be replaced um, in this four. And often it can be replaced with uh, San Yin Jiao point point number six of the spleen channel, or with a Tai C point, point number three of the kidney channel. But uh, they are just variations, and all these points are very powerful and has a right to be among these most powerful points. Our point number six uh, in the precardium channel helps mm, to move energy, It uh, helps to regulate menstruations and harmonizes also our condition. It's a psychosomatic point, though it's uh, a little bit less powerful than the previous point that we discussed, point number seven. Mm, but if you need a point 
uh, to influence for a long period or you need a point to use often, then it's better to use point number six rather than point number seven. We go next. You can see it's point number five. It belongs to the middle line. Uh, it stands free soon over the radiocarpal fold. And probably you can see it even on your screen. Uh, the direction between point or the distance yes yeah, sure the distance between point number six and point number five is just around one soon so it's very small distance mm. sometimes mm, people say about it that uh, This point number five works as a coupling of free hand in. It helps to eliminate phlegm in the heart, helps uh, in all types of congestion. In atherosclerosis, it controls and suppresses uprising C flow. Our energy can move both way as uh, upward so downward and then you meet such a uh, phrase that some point can suppress uprising sea flow it means uh, it's uh, back rising it's a uh, reverse rising which is uh, connected and can manifest itself in uh, hypertension with uh, redness of eyes in pulsating in the temporal area nausea vomiting hair burn uh, so in this case you need to uh, enliven your blood and this uh, psychosomatic point will be good also in all uh, symptoms connected to 13 ghosts of Sun Tzu Miao, we mentioned before. My next point is point number four. It is called Si Meng and can be translated as a door in the crevice, door in the cleft. It stands uh, five soon apart from radiocarpal fold or if you will try to find this point uh, starting from your elbow fold, elbow crease, then you should uh, count seven soon from your elbow crease to find point number four, the precardium channel. It is an algetic point of this channel. Uh, C uh, can be translated as a gap, as an interspace, so it's interspace point and uh, you see C main it's a door in the cleft so door like uh, if you need to open this door uh, you need to eliminate blockage in the C flow in the energy flow it's mainly used uh, to reduce pain in the heart area or to struggle or pain in the upper part of your body. It's psychosomatic point and also it can be good uh, in nasal bleeding. Let's go on. Point number three. So it's zap. A lake in the elbow area. Please bend your elbow at right angle and find uh, the end of elbow crease. At the end of this crease, 
is located to uh, point number three. Point number three is located at the end of this crease. It is connected to water element. It cools heat and blood. It suppresses uprising sea flow. It struggles in the wind. And it is also called sometimes a point of uh, life joy. So it can be used in any mm, emotional depression conditions. As well as it is diagnostic point. If you palpate this point and feel mm, painful feelings, some unpleasant feelings, it means uh, that this person has not enough joy in his life. So, start working with this biological collective point. Work with it to eliminate uh, this congestion here and to open this point. Okay, our favorite shoe and more points. As you remember, all shoe points belong to the bladder channel. They are located uh, along the first paravertebral line. Point uh, number 14 of the pericardium channel is shoe point in this system. And it is located uh, in the space between the fourth and fifth uh, thoracic vertebra. So it's like the level of middle of our scapula. It can be used in arrhythmias, in palpitations. It's good to reduce pains uh, in the heart area. And in such situations, you should start working um, on the right side, when you try to reduce pain in the heart area, and uh, walk carefully here without some hasty manipulations. All your movements should be smooth, and only after that you should go to the left side. So. Always start from the opposite side, then you are working with painful syndromes, with acute painful syndromes. More point in this system is point number one of the precardium channel. It stands in the fourth intercostal space, uh, wind soon aside from a nipple. And here are again variations in uh, Chinese texts. One of us says that. Uh, a nipple is a very important landmark and you should uh, watch it then or searching for more point of the precardium channel but uh, according to Chinese standards a uh, nipple should be located uh, on the uh, middle clavicular line in the fourth intercostal space mm, then if your patient corresponds to these ancient Chinese standards, you will be a success to find these biological active points. But, for example, Sergei Kasinsev has uh, never met a person in his 10 years practice um, with such standards, um, like in ancient China. So, uh, usually uh, he says that you should watch middle clavicular line, uh, stomach channel, from the center from of clavicula, you should imagine a line to your nipple, and search for biological point here. Don't touch a nipple itself, it's prohibited. And if, for example, points uh, are located strictly along the middle clavicular line, then mm, 
point number one will stand uh, a little bit aside from it. Uh, if uh, you feel the stronger response on the line which goes to nipple, then you should use nipple as a landmark. A more point uh, is point number 17. It is located on the level of fourth intercostal space. So, in the middle of your chest. Mm. And if we are talking about uh, neurological moments, then shoe and more points are located in one segment. So, as point number one, so point number 17, they will have the similar reflex influence. Uh, but pay attention to the gender of your patient. If we are talking about uh, women, uh, then this point uh, will lay in muscular tissue. So to get it, you need to go through all the memory gland. And um, it's not always easy to do, even for specialists. Um, so in these cases, probably it's better to use point number 17. Mm, if uh, you're working with EHF therapy, for example, or if there are any mm, changes in memory gland, uh, you can use point number one. You can see also here is one more point um, on the hand, on the second picture, the right part of your screen. It's not co colored with uh, red, but uh, we'd like to mention this point also. It stands also at the level of fourth intercostal space on our arm, and it's point number two of the precardium channel. It is used often as an additional point when working with more point of precardium channel. So it's like additional point uh, which makes more point of precardium channel stronger. More point of the precardium channel is used um, as a biological active point for any local inflammatory process, for painful syndromes in the area of your chest. It can help to send the energy downwards. It reorganize phlegm and stimulate and it can stimulate lactation. Uh, if one needs to stimulate lactation, then uh, it's better to use moxibustion, uh, warming of this point. Yes, exactly, warming. Uh, and uh, also in these prescriptions, uh, where will be four different points around the nipple in cases when we need to stimulate lactation. Talking about ties of a precardium channel, don't forget that it belongs to a fire element and uh, that it is connected to the triple heater channel, exactly by means of law and yuan points. From point uh, M to number six, energy flows to the point uh, TR number four. And then it goes to the point here, number five, and goes back uh, to the point number seven. Talking about Ayurvedic moments, we've mentioned that this channel is connected to Kapha Dosha. We mentioned its time of activity. Uh, from 7 up to 9 p.m. 
so you can see that a time of its minimum activity uh, will be from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. like an opposition time opposite time to time of maximum activity according to the rule of pulse diagnosis this system uh, is connected to the wife category and uh, is connected to the kidney channel by means of point uh, R number 4 and then C number 7. Again, you can see this interesting illustration of the course of a channel. Pay attention that its inner course starts from the point number 1 and goes uh, inward uh, to the heart and to the middle heater. Then it is divided uh, into the uprising branch, which uh, goes to our tongue and uh, to the second branch uh, going down along the middle line of our body to the lower heater. It's very interesting that uh, this uh, channel uh, does not have its own projection zones. It has common projection zone uh, with the uh, heart. And it will be exactly um, pectoral muscle and inner surface of our upper extremities. Uh, one important moment uh, is connected to the symptom when you cannot feel um, the middle finger or for example you feel that there is a reduced uh, reduced ability to move this uh, middle finger or if there is uh, any disorders like contractures then a person cannot um, make his uh, fingers cannot uh, make its fingers free just um, it feels it tensed all, all the time mm. so if you feel something in, in the beginning level like uh, reduced ability to move of your middle finger uh, please pay attention to the pericardium channel it's an uh, important sign to pay attention to pericardium channel. And if you've got some disorder with ability to bend uh, your finger only one finger, you, if you cannot bend only one finger in a full volume, then it's connected only to the pericardium. If you feel some problems with several fingers, then, uh, unfortunately, a few systems uh, suffer from disorders. You should work with uh, a few systems. You should pay attention to them. Uh, talking about facial zones. Again, here is no uh, specific individual zone for the pericardium channel. And if you'd like to work with it, you should work with the whole face. Always pay attention uh, to the color. It should be equal, nude, and sh uh, the skin should be shining. Not a lot of people has uh, such a right shining skin of the face nowadays. Uh, it's interesting, you can just uh, notice among your patients. Uh, sometimes you just see that uh, this face is similar to shine. And it's a very good sign, sign of health. Uh, if you see something um, in a red color on the face, it's uh, 
not positive, it's not about health. Here it depends on the zone where it appears, as we mentioned and showed in the previous webinars. By the way, don't forget that you can use the Meridians tab in the VetaPulse software and uh, where you can see that Meridians can be in yellow zone, in green zone or in red zone. Yellow zone in our software means a lack of energy in particular Meridian. Green zone means a good normal range of energy and a red zone uh, means some tension excess of energy. Mm. And if, for example, a meridian stands in the red zone, you should mm, work with it, first of all, because first of all we work with acute syndromes and red color it will be exactly about acute symptoms, like inflammation or something like that. Uh, but we mentioned that uh, pericardium channel um, very rare feels tension, almost never feels tension, uh, excess of energy. So, for example, our uh, expert Sergei Kasintsev always uh, use some tonic methods working the, the pericardium channel. Um, because you should know also that tonic methods hmm, uh, do not uh, bring common tonization uh, or do not always bring this tonic effect if we can say so so it is similar to the moment when you are using needles for sedation but uh, way will not be sedative in all 100 cases. So it's uh, quite mm, quite uh, interesting moment, moment what we should pay attention to and probably uh, it's a little bit deeper than just the first uh, level of knowledge. It's more about nuances. And one more interesting moment, if you see a meridian in the VEDAPAL software stands in the yellow zone and you make one assessment, then you repeat assessment for some time and one meridian stands in the yellow zone always. Um, it will be quite useless mm, to tonify it. Because it will be something similar like if you are beating a dead horse. You cannot make it move if it's dead already. Uh, it means the disorder is very deep and on the deep level it came to deep level. So in this case it's better to create uh, energy bridges to get energy from one system where there is an excess or there is enough of it to this system which stands in the yellow zone always, which is similar to a dead horse. And to do it, sure, you should know connections and ties between different channels. That's why uh, in each of our webinar we show a few slides about ties of channels for you to, to get uh, one more indication how to create these energy bridges. Now we are close to our practical part and to work with a channel first of all we should activate biological point number three on the channel of large intestine and then start clipping our 
posterior middle meridian from sacrum mm, in the direction of our head along the nose to the upper lip when after that we should activate anterior middle meridian by means of uh, key point uh, number seven and then uh, we continue clapping from pubis along the anterior middle line mm, up to the lower lip we start working with pericardium channel from the chest area the first clap uh, you do just uh, right after the nipple then continue clapping in the direction of axillary fold be careful when you are clapping uh, your arm in the upper part along the inner side surface because there are mm, a lot of uh, big uh, vessels uh, for example uh, on this picture that you can see on your screen um, it may seem to you that uh, the channel goes uh, directly on the middle uh, of the hand or in the middle of the arm but uh, normally if you pay a little bit more attention then it is closer to the um, vessels Uh, it is closer to vascular bundle and then the channel uh, continues and at your forearm it goes uh, directly uh, to the middle if you feel some interaction then you should uh, stay at this zone and massage it for some time when you come to your palm here you can clap um, additionally until you feel some itching feelings in your palm something similar to small needles in your palm it will be quite good then finally uh, you just press your middle finger and uh, pull it from both sides pull it and uh, continue clapping month of the precardium channels activity is October and uh, to be more direct uh, it is up to the 7th of November in our traditional uh, European calendar so thank you for your attention that was the pericardium channel a very interesting not very long but very important for our heart and for our health we'll be glad to get your questions and to bring your answers please you can see the email where to send your questions and uh, we'd like to see you again thank you